Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 11th, 2022. Well, doggone it. Yesterday, we had kind of some disappointing news in that inflation number, and while the market initially tried to shake it off and pretend it didn't matter, eventually it did... Um, bring out those bears and unfortunately we suffered some pretty substantial technical damage in the charts but what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here well, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Um, you know, it's a pretty ugly situation here um, in these charts. When we take a look, we, we did break that downtrend here um, in the chart, and we are still holding on to some price support in this chart. So I don't want to say that um, all is lost here by any means. Um, but there is going to be some substantial pressure on the bulls today to defend this level of price support. If they are unable to defend this level of price support today, then we could actually see um, that situation where we may retest these lows here in the market. And I know no one wants to see that happening, but with a, f a potential of a 50 basis point increase in um interest rates and particularly at a time when that cpi number also showed us that we have real incomes declining um, i don't think we've ever seen a time in the the market when these situations have occurred where we have the fed chasing an inflationary rate like this and we have a declining income um, situation here in the market. So pretty interesting um, dynamics here. So we'll have to see how that works out. Now, keep in mind, we also have the U.S. is now um, warning, the president is warning today for all Americans to get out of the Ukraine due to... Um, the higher tensions there and the possibility of a Russian invasion. So we're going to want to keep a close eye on this. Now let's take a look. Resistance levels above, we know we have pretty substantial resistance levels above in the chart. Support levels below, I would suggest this area right across here would be the area we're going to have to keep an eye on if those bears start to press. Um, us in the market and of course we do have a little bit of price support through here that could certainly hold us um, if we were to push down but I think we do risk that possibility um, going forward if we lose these support levels that we could retest these recent lows here in the market and that could push us all the way back down into this area so keep an eye on that closely the bears certainly uh, were feisty yesterday afternoon and unfortunately it created this technical damage where for the second time we have failed at the 50-day moving average here in the chart now the good news is we held on to that 200-day moving average and the bulls are going to have to work pretty hard to defend that area and there may be some data today that helps or or makes it more problematic we'll talk about that in just a second but watch that closely this area will be pretty critical here on the dow let's take a look at the spy now spy also big ugly pullback here um, on the day and at least we held on to this price support in the chart now clearly we had broken that downtrend just slightly this week um, with that gap up open but now with this big old shooting star type pattern here in the chart uh, probably raises some uncertainty here um, in the markets. And unfortunately, if we take a look at our technicals, this would be uh, once again a second attempt at that 50-day and a failure at the 50-day, which really creates a pattern that we call the blue ice failure pattern in the chart. Now, the good news here is we're holding on to that 200-day moving average at the moment. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. We'll need to defend this area pretty heavily because if this area fails 
Well, um, then I think we're probably going to retest these lows in the SPY. So keep a close eye on that. Our resistance levels above, if the bulls get engaged here, um, are very obvious and pretty substantial. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Now, the QQQ has even more problems to deal with here in the charts. We have these rising um, bond yields and, and they have a major impact on tech sector. And of course, we know that the 10 year went over over uh, 2% and it's holding up there this morning above 2%. And we had the two year bonds surge 26 basis points yesterday. Um, the largest increase since 1990. So our largest one day increase since 1990. So a lot of pressure here on the market. When we look at this uh, chart right here, we had breached that downtrend just ever so slightly. Um, yes, um, Thursday, excuse me. Yeah on Thursday. No, on Wednesday. There we go. I'll get it right here eventually on Wednesday. And if you take a look right in here, this is going to be a support level we're going to have to watch carefully of. If we can hold that support level, then, you know, we can we can really kind of slide into the weekend with a little bit of um, relief. But if we were to lose that today, then um, watch for these lows to be tested here in the market. And obviously, if those bulls can get something to hold on to here today and find some energy to rally, just keep in mind we have just tremendous levels of price resistance above in the chart. And our technicals here are a cons considerable concern. Um, our 50 day moving average continues to, to decline. And this would, uh, yesterday, would uh, be the second time we have failed at the 200 day moving average in the NASDAQ. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely because if this were to crack down through this area, there really isn't a whole lot that could prevent us from dropping right back down into these lows. And let's keep in mind that we've got our 34 exponential moving averages ready to cross down through that 200 day, adding to those technical problems. And with that 50 diving the way it is, um, I, QQQ looks to be rather precarious here. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now the Russell um, weakest of the indexes um, and the reason I say that is we never had the opportunity to break back through the downtrend here in the chart and we just have a massive a massive wall of price resistance in this chart to try and break through besides. So we rallied up into that resistance area yesterday and then reversed. Um, so certainly a problem here, but once again, we have that little bit of glimmer of hope that we might hold some little bit of support here in that chart. Um, if we can hold, if the bulls can defend that area, we might be okay sliding into the weekend. If they cannot hold it, um, I would look for a retest of this low. Now, unfortunately, if we retest this low, there's not a whole lot of price support there. And the real possibility is if IWM breaks down through this level, we could see levels down, uh, down in this area right in here um, falling all the way into the 160 um, range here in the Russell. So um, watch that pretty closely. And our technicals here are horrible. Um, we have our 50 down through the 200. The death cross has occurred here. Um, as you can see, 34 EMA, 20 day moving average is pushing down. So we've got a lot of upside upside resistance here on the Russell. So pretty ugly situation for us to move, be moving into a Friday uh, market. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had an interesting day yesterday. It initially tried to push down a little bit, but notice that we ended up not breaking the low of the day before. And um, what that puts us in is a situation where we actually are holding on to that 20 handle here in that chart, that support level. We had given up this uptrend just ever so slightly and now we have reversed back to the upside with a little bit of pressure here. So 
Watch that closely if those bears continue to engage and push us higher. That could be a problem for us heading into the weekend. But if the bulls can hold on, notice we have a pretty substantial resistance level in that chart as well. And if they can hold us from falling down or pushing up through there, that could um, give us a little bit of breathing room. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122, um, I've been talking about the last couple of days, we were pushing up here into that bearish reversal zone. And you guys can see, hopefully you're picking up on the fact that T2122 gives us some pretty darn good clues of um, the periods of time when reversals can occur. Not that it has to occur, but when it can. And we had ticked up in there a couple of times over the last couple of days into that bearish reversal zone. And then here we go um, in that pullback here in the market. Now, if you take a look at T2122, we're just below that midpoint here in the chart. So if the bulls can find something to grab a hold of and find, um, find some reason to hold those support levels, then we have opened up a pretty substantial upside here now for a, a bounce back to the upside. So that certainly is possible. And then at the same time, if those bears find reason to follow through and push hard, we still have plenty of downside opportunity that um, is yet open here for those bears. So watch that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now our T2108, um, had a nice improvement um, this week in T2108, but yesterday it did pull back. And unfortunately, it is pulling back um, at that downtrend and at significant price res resistance levels in the chart. So we didn't quite fix anything here on that rally back up. 34% um, of our stocks holding above their 40 day. If we take a look at T2107, T2107 also pulled back yesterday. And unfortunately, we still have have um, some pretty ugly situations here in that chart where we're failing um, price resistance levels in the chart with significant levels still above and yet still downtrending here in the chart and only 31% of our stocks holding above the 200 day moving average. So kind of a kind of an ugly situation here for the market. Um, T2101 was interesting yesterday that T2101 pulled back which was which was really interesting and i think partially because there was such a bull bear fight yesterday t2101 was a little bit confused on that move there was a lot of buying initially in the day and then that ended up reversing so T2101 actually pulled back and we pulled back into this area of price support. So well, typically we see on a selling wave T2101 move up that market breadth or that absolute breadth and it tends to rise on um, um, a move like that. So we'll wanna watch that closely. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, this is gonna be interesting today. You know, obviously we're down, we've been pushed down in the market and today we're going to get a reading on consumer sentiment um, let's hope consumer sentiment doesn't kick us why we're down we already have a very low reading on consumer sentiment um, this is the, this is taking the temperature of the consumer and I think with inflation rising the way it is and I think that because we see um, some of those market internals showing us that pressure I'm a little bit worried that that this consensus estimate of 67.5 might not hold. Um, uh, notice our prior was 67.2. So if, if we can get a good number in here, that could provide that little bit of levity for the bulls. That's where they could, they could hold on to those support levels in the chart. However, if that were to fail, if we get a bad number here, and I think the odds may be on the side of the bears here, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not trying to predict anything, but I would be I would be a little bit careful and cautious here, and I wonder if um, uh, the consumer sentiment could kick us while we're down, showing us a new lower number, and um, that could really fire up those bears today. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then notice we've got a Baker Hughes rig count out there. That's the only other thing on that calendar today. But we do want to pay attention to the fact that the president has um, 
um, raised the awareness over there in the Ukraine, asking U.S. citizens to leave the area because they believe there is a uh, high probability of um, an invasion um, from Russia. So I, I don't know if that's going to occur, and I don't know what kind of information they're dealing with um, in there. So I don't want to assume that they're right or wrong. But I will tell you that with that uncertainty here um, on a Friday, um, that may be really, really tough as we head into the weekend for um, those bulls to hold things up. I could really see that possibility that there could be more selling to remove the risk heading into this weekend. So keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar is a little bit lighter and that, that can be a good thing. It can also be a bad thing. We, we need something to provide us a little bit of um, energy here um, this morning. Um, and that's gonna be a little bit less here today. Now we do have um, um, about 60 companies um, listed on the calendar. Um, and but it, uh, quite a f uh, quite a few of them are unconfirmed reports, um, so it's a lighter day here in the market. So a few of these stocks that we'll want to be paying attention to. Take a look at Cleveland Cliffs. Cleveland Cliffs um, reporting this morning and disappointing. And unfortunately, we've been seeing a big strong rally in steel, um, CLF, um, and you could probably uh, U.S. Steel has been strong, um, STLD Steel Dynamics has been strong. So with CLF um, showing some bearishness here this morning in this downtrend, that could have some negative effects on that steel sector. So keep an eye on that. A little bit of downside there on uh, CLF. We're going to hear from Dominion today, and it looks like Dominion a uh, little pop and drop um, on that um, this morning. So watch that carefully here. We have some price support in this chart, but we'll want to keep a close eye on that. We're going to hear from um, Apollo. Whoops, APO. We're going to hear from Apollo today. Keep a lot, an eye on that. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if that's reported yet or not, or if this is just uh, bearishness in the market here this morning. But watch that closely. We've been running in this downtrend, and uh, unfortunately, um, um, if they were to miss, we could see some punishment uh, follow through on that. So watch that one closely. However, we are still holding on to a little bit of upside. So if we can get a bullish number, we may bounce up out of there. Um, um, you might want to take a look at uh, NWL, NWL reporting today. A little pop and drop on that number this morning. Um, as you can see, still moving in this downtrend. So watch that one closely. And we're going to hear from UAA or Under Armour, UA and UAA today. And it looks like we're having a little bit of volatility here this morning. Looks like it initially tried to move up and then, well, maybe not so much. So uh, keep a close eye on those. If you want to catch the full list, of notables this morning click that link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you'll be able to get that full list now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a really quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you would please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos and I do hope that you guys see a different difference in, in um, the content here on this channel than what you might see as a normal diet out there on social media where I don't provide any prediction. I just look at the technicals. I don't want it, all of the hype, all of the drama. Let's just look at the charts and see what they say. And if you find that to be helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. Helps the channel to continue to grow and I truly, truly appreciate everyone who does that. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link and that link is just below the title of the video it, um, it's it's certainly not required it's just a way for folks that aren't members of hit run candlesticks or right way options to support the channel and uh, the content so i i truly truly appreciate that and we will see i'm going to start doing some live events on youtube soon as a result of of 
that um, that support. So uh, thank you everyone for doing that. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up. And please remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And as a matter of fact, you're going to have to be pretty darn careful today. Um, uh, most of what I've got here to look at today would be upside type stocks, um, but I want you to really consider how dangerous the, this market is at the moment. Now, one of the places that's been extremely strong um, is in energy, and energy has been just holding up extremely well. And you can see we have nice patterns here. Uh, Devon Energy tried to get going yesterday, got caught up a little bit in the selling yesterday afternoon, but you can see continuing to perk up. And I think, guys, as long as Russia continues to threaten the Ukraine, I think we're going to see these energy prices continue to show lots and lots of strength. Now, if he were to suddenly throw up his hands and give up and walk away, then we might see them pull back. But for now, I think energy has a lot of reason to potentially move higher, let alone the inflationary impacts um, out there. Um, so a lot of these stocks, you know, the Devon Energy, um, you can see um, like APA looking very good, um, ConocoPhillips holding in there beautifully in a nice little consolidating move and all we need is that little bit of spark of bullishness to pop that through to the upside and continue that trend. So pretty much anything in that um, energy sector has been very, very strong and certainly worth continuing to hold. If you're not already in them, you might be wanting to look for a potential entry. Take a look at um, United States Oil Fund, uh, USO perking up a little bit this morning. We continue to see those oil prices rise um, as a function of inflation, um, and that continues to add more inflation every time that price goes up. But watch that closely. That's a pretty nice setup there um, for U.S. oil. Now, another place that you might look is you might look over into the refining area. Um, an energy exploration area of the market. When oil prices go up like this, we typically see um, stocks like this do very, very well. And um, I've mentioned VLO several times before. And as you can see, Valero is moving up in a nice upside trend. Now, it may be a little bit stretched out here in the short term and might need just a little bit of rest. But with all the all of the um, uh, pressure here on the oil sector to move up. You could certainly see this continue to the upside. So keep an eye on Valero. Um, I, I've mentioned rig a few times and I do like the fact that this has been rallying nicely, but I got to tell you right at this point, this is a really big resistance level in the chart. So I wouldn't want to be jumping into this just yet right at that price resistance, but I do think it's worth keeping an eye on because if rig could pop through this area and then proof to hold that higher low. Once we break through a significant level of resistance, a stock can really run to the upside. So keep an eye on stocks like that. I also think you might want to be keeping a pretty close eye on um, silver and gold, precious metals. Um, there seems to be a little bit of um, uh, with the uncertainty here in the market, and I think the possible threat of recession around the corner with the Fed raising rates, um, we have this possibility that we could start to see gold and silver firm up and move higher. Boy, it was just looking like gold and silver was ready to sink hard. But the, these recent developments with inflation and things like that have certainly perked this up. So keep a close eye on that. Where If we can hold this um, resistance area as support, then watch for that opportunity that those bulls could start picking that up. Another one would be into the silver area. Silver spiked up hard yesterday, but ended up pulling back into the close. Um, so watch that carefully. Again, we have this possibility. It's not there yet. And notice that we still have a big downtrend here in this chart, but watch that carefully. If that can push up through here and hold, then there may be some upside opportunity. You might want to keep an eye. I've talked yesterday about copper. Um, copper has been exceptionally strong 
here in the last few days and I wouldn't want to chase it at this point. What we want to see now is we want to see a little resting consolidating pullback and if we can get that in that chart maybe continue to engage that trend then there may be some upside opportunity in FCX. I think it's worth putting on your list. I actually placed an alert on Lulu yesterday. Now this is um, really something down in the dumps here. Um, you can see we've been selling off and selling off and selling off. In fact, a pretty darn ugly chart. But at the same time, this is one of those charts that's starting to correct that downtrend and trying, at least at this point, to hold. Now, it is certainly possible that we don't hold, that we would consolidate here and then continue to fail. But I'm watching for that opportunity that this might actually pop through to the upside. And you can see we have some room up here toward that 50 day moving average. So a lot of work in there to do, but you know, um, it is holding on. So with that guys, um, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. Be very, very careful. And I think it would be a wise idea to have a little bit of hedge, uh, the short side hedge heading into this weekend with these tensions in Russia in uh, between Russia and Ukraine. So keep an eye on that. Everyone have an awesome weekend. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. And I wish you all the best.